Hi guys, it's Pure Gamer, and today we are back with the Rags for Riches series. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play Hardest Target. Now, basically, everyone knows this. Well, I assume everyone knows this. Basically, you have a team. You have two teams, and basically, there's a timer. And each time the timer runs out, there will be a new target on either team. And basically, you get a point each time that target's killed. Now, obviously, because there's a timer... You have to kill that person within that time. But if you don't, then it just switches to another player and you kill that, try and kill that player. Now, it can get really, like, messy, confusing, mayhem. So you want to try and get the best guns you can, like that G36. Now, that's what you want. But obviously, everyone's going to go for it. So we try and run for another gun if we can. Now, what I would recommend, though, doing is obviously using this while your double money and XP is actually out. Run and get that gun. Um. Yep. All right. Right. So make the most of this while it is on double money and XP, right? And then, because I don't know how long this. I'm recommending this will probably go away next Tuesday when the next car comes out. I'm going to do a review on the new car that comes out later on. you just have to bear with me. Um, but basically, this is what you've got at the moment to make you a lot of money. Now, obviously, I recommend using it while it's here. Because it's not going to be here forever. Now, I know a lot of people don't like it because how it is. But why not just use it while you can? To make the most amount of can. And then once you've finished... You don't have to bother with it again. You can do other stuff like you can do your missions, your races. I recommend always doing heists and as much as you can use bunkers. Just go, you know, leave your bunker sort of thing. Let that, you know, sort of make itself while you. That's gone wrong. Yep. No! Ah, damn. Anyway, so always have your bunkers going because then you can go off and do these sort of things or races or missions or jobs. Now, we are drawing, and obviously, we got a feeling we're going to lose because my team isn't the best, but then I'm not the best at this because I've only played this like once or twice. I'm not the best. But uh, you'll just have to bear with me. Because I'm probably going to play this a little bit this week, every now and then, whenever I can. Get from the grenades. Probably too close. Come on, come on. Where is the enemy? Right, the enemy target is there. I want to get. The thing is, getting past all the people and staying alive is really not easy. Because now it's going to change. The minute you get near them, it might change. So it can become annoying. But uh, this is why you would have your bonkers. And maybe you could also have something like your MC, like your drugs and things like that. And your other businesses that are in the MC. Have them going. And obviously the cocaine one is the most. You could also have the weave one going. And the forgery one. Just so you have a multiple choice of things that you could have going all at once. Right, he's dead. And then you can't really complain you have no cash because at this point of the Rags to Riches videos, you should be, because I took a couple of like, you know, I've been away from like this episode or slash series. You should be, if you've been carrying on the Rags to Riches videos, be on a few million now. I'd expect you to be on five or six million, maybe 10. Now, obviously I'm on like, I don't even know how much I'm on. Let me check. Hang on, that came up then. I'm on 11 million, but that's me buying cars and not doing any of the Rags to Riches episodes. To think of, if I spent many hours doing Rags to Riches, you would have a lot of money. You'd probably find, by the time this video comes out, my YouTube video, that my 
was going to do. The rags, the rags riches is this video. Then I'm going to do the review for that car. By the time that comes out, I'll probably have another million. Or maybe a million and a half. We'll just have to see. So just remember. 11 million precise. Ah. Oh. Wouldn't aim over to him for some reason. Oh well. Now this is the only annoying thing about the map. This map, it can get a lot, like a lot of chaos can happen because it's constant. You know, try and get the most kills of the uh, leader. Now their leader's there, and their leader's changed, and um, we just had one that's died. That's really annoying because he was basically just sitting there camping. Where are you? Yeah, mom. Where are the enemy? Right, they're over here. Obviously, the main guy's camping. Right, I'm dead, but you know, I got an assist to kill on someone. Good enough, ish. I hope, anyway. Right. Okay. So, hmm. There's 13 seconds left. So there's no point in going to anyone else. I've got two minutes left on the timer, and they're one point ahead. It's not bad. It'll be a lot worse. Right, their target's changed. Again, the target will then now go and hide. It's really annoying. I'm going to go and try and attack from behind. Because they're attacking from the front, I attack from behind, and then someone just has to attack from that side alleyway. Ah, great, I'm being shot from everywhere now. Oh, that's just not fair. Because it used, used to be as two. You'd be able to roll and reload at the same time, but for some reason, Rockstar has taken that out. And I know I keep mentioning it all the time, but it's something that they need to add back. Because it used to help you when you were doing death matches. And things like this. But now it makes your life a lot harder. Especially 1v1s when you've got like assault rifles. And you're trying to reload. You are a target. Great. I'm a target. And I'm in the enemy sort of area. This person's lagging, so... Okay, they go. They're dead. Right, now I need to move up. Um, there. Getting cover because I've got 11 seconds. We're actually a point, we're two points ahead now. And that's it. We should have won. Yep, there you go. Winners. Right, so guys, what you want to do is you want to keep playing this. Because if you win, you get 20 grand. You lose, you get 10. It's not bad. Keep playing it for a good few hours. You're going to make a lot of cash. Then, obviously, have your bunkers and your MC jobs going around. Have them doing you know sort of progressing while you're doing this so then you're not really noticing the time you could do races with your friends missions with your friends as always as usual use the playlist of pot shot that i'm, I'm going to put in the description and basically enjoy it don't make the rags to riches series a task that you don't want to do if you don't want to make money then don't play gta i recommend if you want to buy things on gta then you're going to have to grind. That's the only way you can do it nowadays. Now I'm going to end the video here. Because I don't want it to be a really long video. And I'll see you guys next time.